I'm back. Well, this is actually part three in the series of building the uh, the Warmoth guitar. The perfect guitar, I think I said. Something like that. Don't really worry about that. It's perfect to me. It might not be perfect to you. It might not be perfect to me when it turns out. We'll find out later, won't we? In any case, today we're uh, actually going to hack away at the body. I've already actually done it, but I did actually film what I, what I did. Uh, just for your information. Um, it's all about an Eric Clapton boost board. Yeah, anybody who knows what they are, that's fine. Anybody who doesn't, well, you need a bit of a hole in your body. You can see the one I've made there. You need that hole in your body so that uh, basically the board fits in and the pit guard fits over and it will never be seen again. It's out of sight, out of mind, except when you use the controls, it blows you through the wall, <laughs> which is useful for a strat. Yeah, so the video is all about how you make that hole there. And this guitar body, as you can see, it's got holes inside it because it's a hollow, a hollow body, which is what I wanted because it's lighter. Yeah, so it's hollowed out. I've hacked that in there and the board fits perfectly as you will see. So what I want to do is to get on with it, show you the routing, which wasn't that easy. It tended to pull. That's why I've got a little groove in it. Uh, but it's still well within the, uh, the pit guard, so I'm not really worried or concerned at all about that. The board fits perfect. And there's the battery box for later. Anyway, let's get on with it. You see what I did. See if you could do it. Okay, well this is no easy feat to do. And uh, what we've got to do basically is to cut that square out there. Now, it could be hollow under here, but that doesn't really matter. It's just somewhere for a PCB to fit or a printed circuit board. As long as I'm on them lines there, even if it's hollow underneath, remember, that the, the pit guard will cover this area up. If I was to draw a line around, you can see the sort of space you've got. Uh, it's quite plenty of spare. So even if we drill through and it is hollow inside there, it doesn't really matter. It needs to go about half an inch deep. Or 12 or 13 mil, depending where you come from. Now I'm not going to be talking particularly when I'm doing this because it's difficult to do, a lot of things can go wrong, but thankfully they're all out of sight of where we need to be. So let's get down to it, let's hope it works. I've never done this before in my life. <laughs> the routing done and uh, you can see that it's a bit of a job now I've cut it shorter and all the rest you don't want to be sitting there for 20 minutes do you it did take me about 20 minutes to do it and uh, it's worked so let's have a look at uh, the net result that's the Eric Clapton booster board what do they call it I don't even know what they call it they call it 
preamp kit, mid boost 25 dB, and 25 dB will really kick your, uh, well, your bottom. <laughs> I thought it'd be a good idea. And of course, it's not so easy because you have to hack a hole out, and I don't believe that Warmoth do that. So, it can happen with Warmoth. I happen to have one of those uh, Dremels. And a, a Dremel router tool that, to be honest, I got in the sale a couple of years ago and never used it. I was going to use it on something, but it just didn't. But it worked out okay for this. It's, it was a bit difficult, and it did push off and snag a couple of times. And you see that tiny little dip there at the bottom. Yeah. What more can I say? The first thing to be aware of on this body is that I actually did. A battery box fitted and this is a double battery box so you can get a long time out of the batteries and that sort of thing so if you haven't got one of them well you need to have to route it when you never do a good job as what these guys do look you can see how bad mine is <laughs> uh, but then you've got to do this other one on the front and uh, it's it's not that easy to do to be fair but it is completely covered up with the uh, pit guard and uh, that's the point about it. That's exactly what I wanted. In fact, that's roughly where Fender put theirs down there, out the way. So it's all good. And here's the board getting fitted. If you look at it, it just about fits absolutely perfectly. And I can tell you now that that actually is under the surface. You can see when it's fitted, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. And I can get these wires where I need them to go and do what I need them to do. You could almost put some clear sealer on there, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm not that uh, lunatic, although I might be semi-lunatic. You can see that that fits okay. It comes out into the main panel and the hole for the wiring is just there that goes down into the battery box. So it's all going to be good. You would never know it was fitted if I didn't tell you. Well, I shouldn't have told you, should I? <laughs> Well, there you have it, another one of the uh, little sections for the building of the, uh, the perfect guitar, the perfect Warmoth guitar. Well, it's perfect to me, it's probably perfect to you. If you've never done one before, you don't want to be any more complex. It's difficult enough to start off with, I can tell you. <laughs> anyway, that's the thing. Uh, there it is, as I said, you've seen it. And uh, when it's covered, oh man, it's going to be awesome. Better than yours. <laughs> so we'll not worry about rating this for now. Uh, we'll wait until it's all finished and plugged in and you can hear it for yourself. I've had one before, uh, so I know what's coming. Uh, and you might have, but you might not have. They're about, uh, I think they're about £55 in England uh, for that board and all the controls that go with it. So you get all the three knobs, it puts a TBX in there and it, if you don't know what that is, you'll find out later when we wire it. But it, you get everything with it and that's the thing, so it's not quite too bad. You could sit there and make him one, but there's no real point. That's the way to do it and uh, yeah. Well, until next time, the next video, I don't know what will be in it. <laughs> Nothing else has arrived. But uh, as it comes in, this is, uh, this is part three. Yeah, signing off until next time. Uh, all the other videos are in the text below, by the way. And uh, so is the, uh, the company where I bought this from, just before I do go. Because he is one of the good guys. He's named uh, John Southward of First Avenue Guitars. He's on eBay all the time and those sort of places. John Southward, really nice guy. Now get out of here. <laughs>